Good morning, good people. I'm Father Cyrus. I've been a Capuchin for 62 years and a priest for 56 years. Our church, our faith community, has given us many good examples of holiness to follow so that we can be closer to Christ. Most of those have been men, and most of them single men, bishops and priests and abbots, and some women, of course, lots of women too, virgins, martyrs, but very few have been honored by us as members of a matrimony. Of course, we have Joachim and Anna, the grandparents of Jesus. We have Joseph and Mary, parents of Jesus, but we don't have many married couples as such. Well, in the 1800s, Louis and Zelie Martin, the parents of St. Teresa of Lisieux, met one another and fell in love, and we celebrate them as a married couple. Louis wanted to be a monk, but he couldn't do the studies, so he decided to be a clockmaker, a watchmaker. Zelie wanted to be a nun, but her health was bad, so she took up lace making with famous Alenson Lace. One day they were both crossing a bridge in opposite directions and they saw each other and fell in love at first sight. They were married three months later. Now they were members of the Focused Toward the Poor. Zelle was a third order Franciscan, a secular Franciscan, and Louis was a member of the St. Vincent de Paul Society. And remember that St. Vincent de Paul was uh, educated by Franciscans when he was a young fellow. Louis and Zelie were so focused as following the spirit of St. Francis that one of the important things about what they did was that they would invite a poor person to their dinner table. And it was even known that Louis would delay dinner until he went to find somebody to bring to their table to serve to save with serve with them the love of the Lord Jesus Christ and their food. They were really focused toward following the Lord Jesus as a husband and wife. And we have the great benefit now of our Pope, Pope Francis, canonizing them together as a husband and wife and as models of the sacrament of matrimony. On 18th of October, 2015, our Holy Father, Pope Francis, canonized them together as a husband and wife. They are the only married couple canonized together at the same time as husband and wife. Their feast is July 12th, but so far the Roman calendar has not given them a feast together. So we celebrate them because of their holiness and because of their matrimony, but we don't have a, a feast in our calendar yet. Let's hope that that happens pretty soon. God bless you. Please know that we continue to keep you in our prayers and that we count on your prayers as well.